Scorpio and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of May 1st and these energies can start anytime now and go into the next week as I always say. Um, I do want to say uh, thank you very much for all the comments for the past two weeks and the emails. I've had a busy last two weeks um, you know with my other job, uh, life, volunteer work, I mean just life in general and I had a lot of private readings, ex express ones too so I've been just so busy but um, I will try to catch up with the messages, uh, with the comments. I have caught up with most of the emails, but I do want to thank you so much. And I just want to let you know. Anyway, let's get into your reading. Okay, so. I don't know, Scorpio. It's like conflicts are, it's like the energy is slightly um continuing like from last week but there is some changes but i do see conflicts again um like at work look at the conflicts though as lessons that came through this week okay and gained knowledge it it like shakes off issues that just need to be dealt with that are coming out and things that have not been maybe fully said or understood Okay, so this week kind of begins that way. There is like, you know, your back's turned to someone too. So there could be with a partner. This could be a business partner too for some. This could be anyone in your life. But there is conflicts and some um, issues here. Um, work is inauspicious in a way. And auspicious. It's creative, okay, and productive, but you may not feel it because it's like you how do I explain it? Okay, your imagination and thoughts are working through stuff. Like an example, if you're an artist, okay, artists usually have expressed themselves through pains and hurts or things that happen, and sometimes they will just take a paintbrush and just splatter things around and it looks confusing. Van Gogh's known to do that too, of course, but... um. What I'm trying to say is you're not maybe seeing the creative creative and productive side that's coming through with all that's going on in your work and whatever your uh, stuff you're doing. So that was kind of a rough example. Okay. Also, you need to de-stress a little. Okay. Clear your head. You really need like to start clearing your head a little. I don't care how many problems or whatever what's going on. Um, if you're not having that many problems and it's just excitement in your life, just clear your head so you could start um, de-stressing a little too because it's either over-excitement, stress, something like that is showing up, okay? The thing is you do have a very powerful cup. You have very powerful energy, very strong, strong will determined. So that is showing up to powerful energy. Now, um... I do see, again, conflicts. I see some arguments. There could be power struggles that can be happening and battling with an opponent, you know, all those examples. Be flexible. Detach yourself is one thing, too. Don't take any financial risks. That's another thing that's showing up here. Or dwell into any temptations, okay? Sometimes when we have... Sometimes when there's a lot of chaos in our life or that, or you've just done with something, we can be impulsive, okay? And go into our temptation, so just like crash things down. So there is that energy too, and you get this huge cross here again, um, changing things around or circumstances around you. It's a general reading. Matters of the heart really have a lot going on here, okay? These are like your subconscious energies, things that are fueling. Again, we've got this volcanic volcanic um, image here, Um Wow, you could be revisiting some stuff. This could be karmic too. There's a cycle here uh, going back and forth. This is also things coming back in, issues that need to be handled. Um, you could be too focused on your issues too. Um, sorting some things out, you know, like at home or whatever it is and making some changes. Some of you are going to just make those changes. There are changes occurring, things can happen and expected too, okay? Ups and downs. Wow. 
Okay. Uh, coming in, you got some, you're doing things you may have not considered doing before. Okay. Um, yes, you should do it. There is some great stuff that maybe it, that you need to switch up and do. But then again, watch out for any temptations or just impulsive actions. Um, some are just really crashing things down. It's like you're bur some of you, I am definitely burning bridges and starting all new things. Okay. Some are very, I see, you know, there's a lot of fiery energy too, volcanic energy. You're very, very angry. Um, this is just specific for some. This is not everyone, but there is volatile energy and it's like you're very angry. And with that, you are a force to be reckoned with. Um, yes, there's some power and strength to you, though. Um, a door opens and things go more to your desires here. OK, so it is showing here um, for some. This is what you needed. You know, there's just turn of events happening in that. Um, Self-control is also advised, though. OK, think before you do anything. You've got really magnetic, powerful energy. So that's being said. Lots of changes again we're seeing here. Lots of changes. So that's all I can pull out for a general. Okay, and the plate. Wow. Okay. Matters of the heart definitely are showing up. This could be even subconscious things that just surface and it's like you need to change things things are coming up okay matters of the heart um i'm seeing contracts uh legal documents um some decisions to be made there are in focus some important things could be showing up here you do need a, a little bit of a balance here okay balance your yin and yang so that really did show up for some here i do see travel moving away or travel um, there's accomplishments. You have very powerful energy here. Okay, mastering a situation. Okay, however you do it, you're going to ma you could be mastering something, um, a situation. You have very strong will now, and you're there is stubbornness. You're very stubborn um, in your ways or whatever it is. This stubborn energy. Now, I do see for some, there could be some spiteful energy, wanting revenge. Um, for others, you could be taking matters into your own hand here, okay? So be careful of that. You know, sometimes that's not the best. For some, I see like eye for eye, you know, some energy that's showing up there. Okay, otherwise, I'm really just seeing powerful energy. Okay, you've got powerful strength. For others, I could just say, you know, what did not kill you only made you not just stronger, really strong and um, determined. But watch out for resentment and bitterness later, too, because sometimes we go through those phases. There is a mourning phase here, too. Some of you may have, you know, a crisis that's going on. It could be the health and concern of someone else and worry or are you just feeling something may come to a conclusion um, and ending and in, in beginnings. So there's a lot going on here again, but it's really powerful energy. So that is what showed up in a general this week. Well, anyway, Scorpio, that was your reading for the week ahead of May 1st. Again, I want to thank everyone for all the comments. I will try to get to them as soon as possible and all the emails and have a wonderful week. And I'll catch you back next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Until then. All the best. Bye, guys.